you will not believe the amount of thrift finds we found today. I proper just sounded like one of those clickbait YouTubers, didn't I? Next thing you know, you see me with a proper shocked expression looking at something in disbelief like... Never me, never me fam. So today we're doing another trip to the thrift. Ever since I went full time with YouTube, I've been thrifting a lot recently. But this trip is especially good just because everything I'm about to show you today I found in one singular round. And it also proves the point that some days you go to the charity shops and it's dead and other days you go around and you find nothing but heat. Heat as in a very relative term. But nonetheless, it's items that you want to find. If you see anything you'd like in today's trip to the thrift, they will be on my Depop page at Rooks and Rivals. This whole video is just basically a giant Depop advertisement. Unpaid, I might add. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you like what I do here, then please press that little subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to get notified of when I upload a new video, then press the little bell icon as well. And fam, there is a massive pile of clothes on the floor, so let's just get straight into it. We're gonna start off with the shirts and t-shirts. Boom. Vintage Aloha t-shirt, AKA the Hawaiian t-shirt for the uninitiated. I like to call this the inverted Hawaiian t-shirt just because you normally see them in blue, but this one's red fam. I know this isn't the first ever red Aloha t-shirt to exist, but it's just the low key madness. You've got the massive red background, you've got the palm leaves, you've got the birdos, you've got the flower. It has a lot happening here. And fam, let me just give you a quick close up. There it is. Look at all of the subtle designs there. Well, I say subtle, they're massive prints all over the shirt. I especially like these shirts because in summer, these are essential. You'll find every high street store will stock a low hard shirt. It seems to be tradition at this point, but it's mad. Why go there when you can get an excellent price and an authentic piece right here? Come to me, I'll give you the good deals. Enough, I'm cringing myself out. So hold tight the vintage red Aloha shirt. So next up, we have a plain beige Yves Saint Laurent shirt. It's, fam, come on, this is so messy. We must have perfection in season two. I'm not gonna go mad with this, it's just beige. Quick close up, you've got a subtle YSO logo on the front there. Like. Can, can you see it? No, you can't. There it is, man. There it is. Boom. I always see these in Ralph Lauren's scattered around charity shops. The real definition of subtle and clean. So hold tight the YSL shirt. And keeping with the YSL trend, we have another Yves Saint Laurent polo shirt. This one is a really nice green and it has a nice knit to it as well. Most polo shirts you'll find will just be a plain polo shirt. So this one's nice and refreshing just because it's got a different kind of knit to it. Quick close up for them. You can see the subtle YSL logo on the breast there. And of course, this nice little knit going on. You've got some subtle dark green detailing on the collar and the cuffs of the shirt. It's also on the inside there as well. A very nice well-made shirt. So moving on to the next one. Next, we have this Lacoste polo in white, gray, and black, just in case you don't really know what neutral color to pick for your outfit. This one's a really clean shirt as well. I do like it actually. Subtle Lacoste logo there. Quick close up. You've got the white, you've got the gray, you've got the black. It's a mad polo. Move on to the next one. B Chang t-shirt. I do like picking up beer t-shirts just because I don't really see them that often. Quick close up, I assume this is the logo on the front. You've got some elephants by a tree and then there's a little flower and then beer chang at the bottom there. Trust me, I am the least educated person on this brand. All I know is it's, I don't even know if it's beer. I'm just assuming because it's got the word beer chang on it and the graphic kind of looks like a beer logo. Anyway, quick close up at the front, logo on the back, the beer chang t-shirt. Lastly for the t-shirts, we have this ombro t-shirt with its label on looking very, very nice. And then we have this ombro t-shirt, which is also very, very nice, but this one's gray, fam. But next up, we have this ombro t-shirt, which is also really nice. I mean, look at it. It's just like the first one, but it doesn't have a label and it's a V-neck. And of course, we have this ombro t-shirt, which is, of course, the exact same as the last one we just picked up. Ombro t-shirts. And that is it for our t-shirts. So let's move on to... Jumpers. First jumper of the day, St. Michael's Knitwear. This one looks like it's got some stains on it, like someone spilled tea on it, but it's mad. I'm gonna try and put it in the wash and see what happens. But apart from that, it's a really nice jumper. I like the pattern on it. I like the design, the knit of it all. I love the size of it as well. It says it's a size 40 inch for big man chests. This is bound to give you a baggy fit, so that's a plus as well, if we can wash out the tea stains. Quick close up at the front. I think here you can actually tell where the tea stain is, but if you look past that, it's actually a really nice jumper. Something that I would definitely wear myself. Hold tight, Marks and Sparks. 
Next up, Worldwide Originals sweatshirt in a nice vintage brown as well. Just slap the word vintage onto everything, it's fine. You've got that academy font, that college font, Worldwide Originals, you've got some Converse looking logo in the middle there. Here's the one thing that I like about all of these vintage tops. It's the fact that they come with all these little labels which just adds 10 times more character to the garment. If you're a vintage thrifter, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The label makes all the difference. It's an absolute madness. Quick close up of the graphic at the front there. Worldwide Originals, bougie Converse logo in the middle there, which actually says precision, trust, the label styled with precision. Oh, trust the label styled with precision. Mad. Big up yourselves on this sweatshirt. Cotton Traders sweatshirt. This is loud. I'm looking at the camera screen and this is a lot louder on camera. It's just a massive big in your face sweater. Unapologetic. Quick close up if you dare. Cotton Traders logo on the side. Very, very loud. Just absolutely sick of. Adidas sweatshirt. I'm pretty sure you've seen an Adidas sweatshirt before. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Here it is. That's that's it. I really like this jumper, but the first thing that comes to my head is Bill Cosby. All politics aside, let's talk about the jumper a little bit. I absolutely love the triangle patterns on it. It screams 80s. It's very funky, very casual. I can imagine wearing this with so many different items. You can probably dress it up, dress it down. Yeah, 100% smart casual to casual. It's definitely a standout piece. I mean, just look how loud it is. It's quite fashionable, isn't it? It looks super sick. Kind of looks like a low-key optical illusion if you look at it long enough. Quick close up just so you can experience it in IMAX, I suppose. There's all sorts of different patterns that you can make out when you look at it kind of from different angles. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. It's just a mad shirt, so let's move on to the next one. How is your granddad big man? Tell him thank you for the knitwear jumper. This is an extra large Woolworths jumper. I love this little design at the front. Kind of reminds me of like a granddad playing golf. Fact, this actually might be my golf jumper when I go to Top Golf. Take a shot every time he says golf, it can't be done, big man. You will get paralytic and I. Quick close up of the golf jumper, looking very golfy. How golf is that? Sick golf. Golf, nice little pattern. I love the fact that it's a dark green as well. Very nice. Moving on to the next one. Vintage Australia memorabilia. Now, for some reason, souvenir t-shirts are really big at the moment, especially vintage ones. I don't know what it is, but this one just seems really nice and really well made. This is something I really love about central logos, embroidered logos, and just big boxy sweaters. So this ticks a lot of boxes for me. You can see the craftsmanship. A lot of love and care went into this, I bet. This collar is very knitted and nice as well so your neckline can feel like a king big man quick close up of the graphic in the middle there you can tell that it's embroidered and it's raised it looks so sick easily one of the best pieces of country memorabilia i have ever seen go to australia and come back with the finest jaunts say no more say no more next we have easily one of my favorite pieces of today's haul boom a neon green ls sweater vintage sportswear central logo embroidered logo subtle logo on the arm the ultimate sportswear sweater has arrived this one is definitely a must cop for summer the more i look at it the more i want to keep it but i pass the savings on to you fam like come on this is so sick i don't even need to sell it to you it sells itself quick close up sick ls logo you can see the green in all of its glory 420 at its finest hour. Hold tight this sweater. To something a little bit more low key, we've got a champion quarter zip up. This one, you get to see a massive champion spell out on the side there. It's a quarter zip up as well, just in case your neck feels a little bit warm. You think, oh, you know what? I need to get some air, big man, and boom. There you go. Now your neck and the tip top of your torso can breathe a little bit. And look, now you have a makeshift collar. Champion just think of everything, don't they? Mad. Quick close up of it, there it is. Champiano, I believe it's a reverse weave as well. Patent technology, hold tight champion, the kings of comfort. So the last quarter zip up we have today is this quarter zip up fleece cobra. Yes, cobra, Chinese lettering. What does it mean? I have no idea. But this piece I really do like. I mean, I just love seeing odd pieces, things you would never ever get in a high street store, stuff that you can only really find in a charity shop, in a thrift store, in a vintage store. Why is there a cobra in the front? What do these letters mean? Is the fleece comfy? Probably, it's a size extra large, cozy boys for life. It has pockets to put your things in. It's a madness. This fleece has it all. Quick close up, there you have it, the cobra. I did not lie, it's there in the flesh. It's sick, it's sick. Hold tight the fleece. 
So moving on to our last few pieces of the day. They're all jackets. Firstly, we have this vintage Mizuno jacket. It's blue. It's got some fluff on it because it's been pre-loved. Big man, this is a subtle windbreaker. Mizuno for the vintage sportswear heads. I think they still make stuff, but they're not as like big as they used to be. But it's calm. This is everything you could want in a pullover windbreaker. Is it waterproof? It doesn't feel like it. So not everything you want in a windbreaker, but it does have a hood. And one of the finest inners that I have ever seen. Just have a quick look at that big man. Look at that nice Royale Mizuno label. And of course the nice little Paisley. If I pronounce that wrong, you're gonna slew me in the comments, but I'm gonna say Paisley. Paisley print, it's very blue in with the times. Buttoned pockets as well. It's sick, it's a solid jacket. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Have you ever been in a PE lesson, look at your PE teacher in his big off jacket and think to yourself, fam, he looks so cozy and that is a sick off jacket. Where can I get one? From me, big man. Look at this PE teacher jacket from era, era. Fam, I have no idea. I am beyond caring at this point. Quick close up so you know. Are you getting the flashbacks yet? Have a little looky on the inside label there. All the information you need to know, apart from whose this is, where they live, and what city they reside in. You can leave that up to the imagination. It could be yours actually. I have to stop talking like a salesman. This is not JVC fam. What do we have here? Oh, it's a vintage Nike jacket. It's a size, hang on, it's a, where's the logo? Where did you go fam? Oh my days, there it is. A vintage Nike jacket. Now this is a size large, so I'm a bit gutted about that because this kind of makes me look like Neo from the Matrix with that long trench coat vibe. But this is actually one of my favorite pieces alongside the LS sweatshirt that I bought. I bought it from the same charity shop actually, so someone must have really liked their sportswear back in the 80s. It's made of a really nice nylon on the outside and it's got Sherpa all on the inside there. Quick close up of the label, boom. Confirmed vintage, classic Nike swoosh on the back, but wait. Turn around and we look at the back, boom. Nike spelt on the back. I love back prints and anything printed on the back or embroidered on the back, but this is sick because it's embroidered, it's central, it's Nike. Too bad I can't keep it, but that is in fact the last pickup of the day. So that is everything that I picked up in one round, in one day's work. It's absolutely mental the things you can find in charity shops and thrift stores. And if you've got any questions or want any advice on thrifting, then again, leave all of your comments in the comment section down below. I check every single one. Again, if you're new to the channel or you like what I do here, then press the subscribe button if you want to get notified when i upload a new video then press the little bell icon as well if you like the video give it a like if you dislike the video give it a dislike and i need to tidy up all of these clothes i've just thrown on the floor so bye beer chang let's have a see and like if they're a nice beer or not i don't know fam oh my days there it is a vintage jacket a vint a vintage nighty a vintage Nike jacket